This is a tier list of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of my favorite rock bands in my ranking system. We're just going to do some more ranking of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We're going to see what happens. Okay. So, of course, you got to have no shirt on to do Red Hot Chili Peppers ranking. This has all the albums um, all the way through uh, Return of the Dream Canteen. So. Let's just jump into it. They are not in chronological order. That's unfortunate. So we're going to jump around a little bit. I might, I'm going to try to go in some kind of order. Uh, the first Red Hot Chili Peppers album, uh, I am the opposite of Finn McKinty on my opinion of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He likes early era. I like 99 present day so uh, the first record has one good song on it put it maybe in D tier okay and then we get the stuff that I absolutely do not like we'll get that out of the way so we can end on some positivity because you know what I got to get to get it put it in you the song is about love nothing Nothing more than love. That's, that's where you got to give it away now. Give it away now. Okay, this album is not fun to listen to. I don't like that one one bit. Hey, buddy. Okay. Let's, uh, we can continue going this way. One Hot Minute. I really had to do some soul searching with this record. It is just something else. It does have a lot more songs um, than I realized it had. So there are a few songs on this record that I can get behind. So I'm going to put it, I can't give it a C. I cannot put it in C tier. It's going to be in D tier. It's a little better than um, the Cyclops album. Not much better though. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty not good. Chihuahua time. This album is uh, not good. It's not good. It's a. Let's see which one of these two are better. I would say this one is a little better than that one. So there's the bottom. The bottom uh, poop albums. Those, those are the poop albums right there. I don't really ever need to hear these again. Um, one hot minute. And the first one have some good stuff on there, but it's just, man, you got to slosh through the muck. Okay, let's let's knock out some more older classic albums. I think this is where I'm going to make some people mad. That's okay. That's okay. Mother's Milk. I was excited to get this one, and it is it is pretty good. I don't like it as much as everyone else does, but it does have that pretty little ditty on there. <laughs> And uh, it's got some classic songs for sure. I don't mind it. I did get rid of my copy of it, I believe. Yeah, I think I only have uh, more modern Chili Peppers in my collection now. Let's, let's see what we got down here. We got. Let's try to do them in order. We're going to do... Because, man, they have so many albums. So many Chili Peppers albums. The Rahukups. <coughs> the Rehuckups. Rehuckups. Okay. Blood Sugar Something Magic. I forget. Um, I know a lot of you guys would put it up, up here in S tier. No. It's not perfect. It's not like 100% rocking all the way through front to back. And you know it. You know it. There's some epic, great rock songs on there. But it's not S tier. It's not... A tier, I would say it's, I'd say it's a B tier record. And look, we got a pretty even, even schmlick up here, right? An even schmlick. That's what we've got here. Um, but yeah, maybe that's my hottest take of the night. Let's try to go in order again. What's the earliest record we got here? Oh man, okay. So, Californication. The rejuvenation of the Chili Peppers band after a really, really kind of wacky time there. But I'm going to say this is S tier. This is, 
I was a fan of the Chili Peppers as a young kid, hearing "Give it away, give it away now," um, and "Under the Bridge." Me and my parents love those songs. Everybody loved those songs. But uh, this is where I feel like the Chili Peppers turned into the kind of band that I wanted to listen to as a 90s kid, born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s. Now I'm an old man millennial. So, yeah, that that album just really blew my mind in 1999. Made me want to party. Okay, it was followed by, by the way, and I feel like... Man, I, I gotta say, I'm gonna say, by the way, it is even better than Californication. It's just my opinion. We got kind of keeping it even. I like this. Maybe we'll get two records in each tier. We don't have any A tier records yet, but we're, we're getting there. Um, I think, actually, talking about Stadium Arcadium, I am torn between putting it up here putting it in A. What do you guys think? Leave a comment what you think. But I think this is looking good so far. This is very, very streamlined. I like it a lot. So I'm going to say Stadium Arcadium. If it were, now I know people, we always talk about whittling down double albums and trilogies. Um, I don't think Stadium Arcadium needs whittled down. But it is very hard to carry a double album or a triple album all the way through and be perfect. I'd say Stadium Arcadium is near perfect, but it's long and it can be a little bit, a little bit much to listen to as a record. Um, you, know, you know, it's basically two albums. You got Jupiter and Mallards. Okay. All right. We got the new stuff. The new stuff. We got the um, we got the different. You know, we've got oh, so the guitarist. You know, we've had multiple guitarists coming and going, um, but we got these. Uh, have we already done one with um, after the exit of John Frusciante? We haven't. We got the Fly album, and this is tough. This is really tough. I really, really enjoy this record. I'm going to put it, I know you guys are going to just think I'm insane, but it's better than Blood Sugar Magic. Anybody else agree with me? I, I like saying anger, so don't pay me no mind. Um, it's, not, it's not better than Stadium Arcadium. It's better than Blood Sugar Magic, though. Blood Sugar Magic. Blood sugar magic? Blood sugar magic. Blood sugar magic. Blood sugar magic. Blood sugar magic! <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Okay, we got the three latest albums. Uh, this one, wow, this one took me this one took me a little bit to get used to. There are some songs on it that I don't enjoy, but it's pretty darn perfect. Ugh gotta put it oh let's see Ooh. Okay, it's pretty even pretty even spiel there mm, that is tricky is it better I know every um, I think maybe it's better than blood sugar magic no no that's crazy I think I, I think I like it where it is I think it's B tier I think this is good. I think I'm happy with this. Now we got the two new ones. Um, Unlimited Love and the Dream Canteen is the last one we've got to get to. Uh, definitely not going to be even right here because I think this is... This Unlimited Love is better than these two. It's... Ooh, I think I'm going to put it in A tier. And it's better I think I'm going to put it right in the middle of A tier. I don't think it's quite as good as Stadium Arcadium. I think it's a little better than a Fly Pill album. And then we've got the 
return of the dream canteen which is oh man oh man. i wanted this to be perfectly even but you know can't can't reconcile that man <laughs> Okay, Return of the Dream Canteen. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ugh. It's it's good, but I'm just not getting the vibes of it. I'm going to put it like, uh, not right there, right here. And then let's see. Is it better or worse than Mother's Milk? I, I think it's I think it's better than Mother's Milk. Okay. okay, I think we've got a pretty even one. Um, you know, there is one more A tier, but, you know, we've got an odd amount of albums. So this is pretty concise. So I think that, by the way, is the best record. Californication, pretty darn close. Stadium Arcadium and Unlimited Love. It, it's their fourth best record. Uh Fly Pill album, pretty good. Uh, Licking the Rose album, pretty darn good, but it does have its flaws. So I think, you know, like these are perfect. These are absolutely perfect. These are, you know, have some songs that are like good instead of great, uh, but pretty darn solid records. Uh, these two, you know, the Getaway and Licking the Rose album, uh, they're really, really great, but they have some they have some junk on them that could have been cut. And then in the C tier, we got Return of the Dream Canteen, which I just cannot get into. It sounds really great. It's really nice. It's got a nice flow, but I just can't get into it. Uh, I don't know. It's good. It's very good. I just, I can't. It's just, yeah. It's, yeah can't get into it mother's milk same thing good songs i just don't need to hear them a whole lot and then we got the one hot minute which is kind of eh. i like it more than most people do so give me that and then the the blobby ugly album covers um that are just that early chili peppers uh finn mckinty can listen to those I don't want to hear them. Uh, they're just incoherent grossness. I'm kidding. I, I, I really, I don't hate any of these records, but just those those bottom three with the, 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 the those album covers, yuck. Uh, but yeah, this is this is my even, almost perfectly striped ranking of the Red Hot Chili Peppers discography.